This alliteration activity for preschoolers is a perfect phase one phonics game to prepare your children for school. As always with alliteration in preschool, this phase one game focuses on hearing the similarities at the beginning of words when two words are next to each other. Remember at this stage we won't be focusing on the letter names or sounds but really focusing instead on hearing and saying the similarities in spoken sounds at the beginnings of words. For this game you'll need two dice like this which I bought cheaply on Amazon and I've linked those in the description below. These are such a versatile resource and can be used in so many different ways if you're teaching phonics in nursery. I also used these in this video when we were playing a fun phase one phonics rhyming game so don't forget to check that out in the description when you finish watching this video. You'll also need a pen and something to write on to keep the score. This alliteration activity for preschoolers is a fun phase one phonics game which matches clothes with animals and it's great to play after reading Hippo Has a Hat by Julia Donaldson and Nick Sharrett. This book is on my free recommended reads list linked below which is great if you're after inspirational books for using with your preschoolers and it's the perfect time saving resource if you're teaching phonics in nursery anywhere in the world. For this game you'll need 12 pictures or photos to slot into the dice. You'll need 6 animals and 6 clothes pictures with the same spoken sounds at the beginning as the animals. So I'm using a hippo and a hat, a k -k cat and a k -k cardigan, a d -d 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 dog and a d -d 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 dress, a t -t -t tiger, and a t -t -t t shirt, a snake, and a sock, and a p -p -p pig with some pajamas. Place all of the animal pictures in one dice and all of the clothing pictures. In the second dice. Begin by checking that the children know the names of each of the pictures. By saying them all together, remember to emphasize the spoken sounds at the beginning of each word as you say them. Snake, sock, cat, cardigan. To play this alliteration activity with preschoolers, explain that the children will take it in turns to roll both dice with everybody joining in, naming the pictures that land on the top. If the two pictures rolled don't begin with the same spoken sound, they could be rolled again straight away by the next player. If the two pictures rolled do begin with the same spoken sound, the children win a point and you can record the score. Continue playing, taking turns in this way until the children have scored a set number of points. Anywhere between five and 10 is probably best. So there you have it, an easy and fun alliteration activity for preschoolers for lots of phase one phonics fun. This alliteration activity for preschoolers, like so many other videos on this channel, has been taken from the Super Sounds Prephonics book, which is linked below. It's a phase one phonics book full of new inspiration, perfect for teaching phonics with nursery or preschool aged children. It's jam packed with activity ideas and top tips for teaching phonics in nursery using preschool stories, songs and games. And if this alliteration activity for preschoolers for phase one phonics has been useful, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up, subscribe and click the bell to be notified of more videos just like this one. And let us know how you got on. We'd love to hear from you. See you soon.